before, you will soon find that this unit does not come with an off switch. Orthodox style, and uh, I think Lucinei was waiting for that. Shorter man attacking from distance. One big step back from Lucinei lands a counter. And this time. Forces a parry out from uh, Heinzer, which opens uh, the door for Lucene, and Lucene picks off on an attack. A good start, solid start. Hit on the counter, hit on the attack. Give Heinzer something to think about. Heinzer now playing with the distance, opening it out. We see that often from him. He loves that back line. Lucene's going to fall for it, is he? Oh, he's waiting to get into the right distance first. He's working very hard. He's got him pinned to the back line now. But that's, that's Heinzer's territory. I don't know. The double, even in these early stages, is uh, well, it doesn't help Heinzer. Keeping that point, threatening around the guard of Heinzer. He's combining that with brilliant footwork, skipping away when he needs to. And Heinzer being forced to try and push and make something of the fight. Uh, what Heinz has been working towards. Wait for Lucene to step into distance. A big sweeping beat. And then an explosive lunge. For a single light, though, for the Swiss fencer. Are they going to give this one a rest? I think they will. We'll go to our first one minute break. Cagey start. I think uh, contrast of styles and approach, that's all. Uh, Lucene keeping a, a patient approach, waiting for the right op opportunity, making sure that he's working hard the whole time. Uh, Heinz are trying to lure Lucene and then deciding towards the end of that first period that he needed to take the fight a little bit down the other end of the piece uh, to create an opportunity for himself. So on a knife edge. Plenty more fencing to come in this match. But, you know, the one thing about Max Heinzer is, you know, yes, he's entertaining. He is explosive. He is dramatic. He is comedic. He is volatile. He is all those things. But, you know, he's got a, he's kind of, you know, would, you, you know he wants to go to a priority minute to finish about. 
you know that he wants to draw you to his back line. Um, uh, you know, was Jean-Michel, uh, you know, Lucene ready to follow him down there? N not very easily. Well, no, he was, he was prepared to stay, stay in distance to make sure he was there and ready for an opportunity, but he didn't, he didn't rush, he didn't force anything at the end. But still on knife edge, you can't. You just you, you can't pull this one. You can't pick this one right now. Lucene will stay patient. So it's about whether Max Heinzer decides that he he wants to go and have a go at this one. We could see this one going to time. Lucene is waiting patiently for that one. <laughs> all the, the Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. It's all, all this, this sort of uh, flicking around the blade is, is designed to annoy his opponent, the Swiss fencer, whacking it around for something very unorthodox, and it's designed to distract, annoy, frustrate, uh, rushing in there, though, the Swiss. And then when the moment came, it was a classic step lunge attack, absolutely textbook, no mucking around, uh, no uh, unorthodox approach. It was absolutely classic fencing. To be able to switch between the two is, is some talent. Stepping in, luring the attack over the top from Lucene, ducking in to hit with a counter. And this one's opened up a little bit now. They're both having to fence a little bit more. And when I say fence, I mean they're, they're both having to be a, a bit more direct and go for each other a tiny bit more and that's mainly down to the fact that Heinzer has pulled that out of the fight. Classic Heinzer. Again. Gregory Gross over to speak to Lucene. And so on the replay there, Heinz are punishing the mistake of Lucene just opened up top of his arm. Uh, only for a second, but that was long enough for Heinzer to land a direct hit over the top. Lucene has got to push now, and that is going to play into Heinzer's hands. that time. A 
Goes for his weapon to be checked. Works, point stands. Well, now what's happening is Heinzer is uh, luring Lucene on, but he's then being a little bit more aggressive, not going all the way to his back line. Looks like they've uh, decided to uh, concede the rest of the time in this period. Uh, it's Heinzer who goes into the third period, 9-8 up. Having to work extremely hard, though, uh, the uh, Swiss fencer. Lucene will have a, a little bit more energy. Well, I, I think he actually enjoys that. But... Um you know he'll he'll draw him in, fly at him, take doubles all day long. Yeah, he will do, but he's got to keep up uh, that intensity throughout this uh, three minute, this final three minute period, um, because I think it's more not it's not necessarily about fitness and lasting the the distance. I have no doubt that Heinzer will do that, but the the style of his fencing now and the intensity he's playing at uh, is uh, mucking up Lucene's game. What does Jean-Michel Lucenay do to, I mean, it, it's a, if, if this is a stage, then, you know, Max Heinzer is an actor who is <laughs> bigger, bigger than everybody else on the stage most of the time. Um, and Lucenay is a fantastic epist. But, you know, what, what does he do, you know, when, when he's in a situation like this with somebody that is out there to put on a show? Well, you, you've got to stick to your game plan. You've got to play your, your own game. Um, but, like I say, Heinzer was always going to come out for this uh, third period and keep that intensity high. Lucene needs to use his feet a little bit better. I think he needs to go backwards, actually, a little bit more. Lure Heinz are into these big actions, step away from them and pick them off with the extra reach he has. But now we've got a sort of ready, steady go action and Lucene is just stepping into it and he's always going to find himself um, at best with a double. He needs to step out of that, he needs to stop it being a scrap in the middle. And rather quickly. Uh, it's not working, Lucene is still pressing forwards. As for his weapon to be checked, Gregory Gross over. Have a look. Works, point stands, and Max Heinzer, one away. From that gold medal match. Oh, going for that double there. Lucene may have got his back up here. Nice, that's good. Yeah, See, he stepped he out at that time. He has. He stepped in and lured the attack from uh, Heinz and then stepped away to produce the counterattack and give himself a little bit of space. Again, stepping away. Has he left this change in tactics too late? I'm afraid he has. Max Heinzer, 15-12 into the gold medal match. Jean-Michel Lucenay goes home with the bronze.